can you give us a comment of this game? Um, well, well, I think we saw a very entertaining game. We saw seven goals, and, and uh, obviously for us it started difficult with being two 0 down against you know players like Ibisevic and Checo with their presence. You know, it's just it's just fun to see them, and and uh, they give you real problems. But I said at halftime that we have a game here because I think you know we can play with Bosnia. We have a good team as well. We have players that play here in Europe in big clubs too. Um, and to stay kind of confident, stay calm and just start to create your chances. I think we had a little case of a penalty in the first half. I got a bit too much upset about it. And, uh, and then we had two, three good ch breakaway chances there too. But then the goals came for us as well in the second half and it was an open game. Uh, but I think, you know, if you look at the entire game, I think we deserve to win today. What was the key for the win? I think that you know um, that we learn from the United States. We learn to keep the tempo higher and higher, like you know, like the European teams do. And and we have players, you know, that can make a difference within a second. You know, like a Josie Altidore, you know, or Eddie Johnson, uh, or Michael Bradley and Jeremy Jones in the middle. So similar to Bosnia, who has their four or five big leaders, we have them as well. You know, and. Uh, and, and we're working on catching up, you know, we want to break into the top 15 in the world one day. Uh, we still have a way to go, um, but you can see that we are becoming more confident and we can really play the game. We came here to, to play, not to defend, you know, and not to counter break. We wanted here to play eye to eye and make the best out of it, you know, therefore we are, we are very satisfied. It was a good checkout for a qualifications game. Yeah, I mean, for both countries, it's important that we get a rhythm, that we get a game, that the national team coach, Sushi and myself, that we have a chance to see our players. You know, it's so because in two and a half weeks, this is then is the real, real time to show you know, where you are. And uh, for us, it's important to see where our European players right now, beginning of the season, similar to Jacko and Ibisevic and, and these guys, where they are, and uh, we are happy that they're looking good. How do you think of this 90 minutes, please? Um, I mean, we are very, very happy, you know, that we could uh, integrate Aaron Johansson in, in our group, you know. Uh, we were talking to him for more than a, a year and about a year and a half. Um, and I think, you know, today that opportunity then to come on the field and in just 30 minutes show his qualities, that's why I, I think everybody now understands why I try to convince him to play for the United States and not for Iceland. Um, and therefore, we are, we are really thrilled to have him. Uh, on our side and go forward with, with our one. I think Anthony Brooks is one of our biggest talents. You know, young player in Berlin now, the first year in the Bundesliga, first cap today, 19 years old, and he played against Jekyll. <laughs> I mean, I mean this is, this is, uh, no, you don't get it any bigger, so we were uh, really, really happy with this first one as well. Given what you've seen tonight,